Welcome to my channel, I am the Hobios, and I'd like to start off by, if anybody's having any volume problems, just try to turn up your volume a little bit. I am working, trying to get closed caption right now, I'm just having problems. <laughs> it's an opening channel, so I'm going to run into problems, that's just what it is, sorry about it. Um, that said, um, I know we went over a stoplight model, a little bit about modeling. I like to just take it back and just make a wall. I know that's boring, but I like to go over uh, some textures, actually. Um, you got your norms, you got your uh, texture image, you got your normals, and you got your bump mapping. So we're going to get into that. We're going to use an open source called GIMP. It's free to use. I will put a link. Um, either below somewhere in the video you'll find it um, maybe at the end um, also uh, blender.org if you don't have blender yet and um, we're also going to get into uh, a little bit of UV editing so stay tuned we're gonna do create some good stuff so, all right all right okay here we're gonna start with GIMP um, and we're gonna go to the photo source. Uh, this is free photo source, uh, Pixabay, and we're gonna go under photos. But I'm just gonna type in brick pictures. We get a bunch of different ones here. I want to get something that sticks out. Um, I'm just gonna go with this one. I, I do like this one. So you go to free download, you hit download, I copy, and um, I just, you know, paste it wherever. Um, it's like if you're going to use an open source, just give the credit out. So I got that up here. I'm going to go ahead and save as, and I got a folder I started now. I put it under C because Skimp just won't open up my video for some reason, my video file. So I go over images here, and what I'm going to do is... I'm going to delete this one here. Actually, we're going to start a new folder. I'm just going to delete this folder here. New folder. We're going to call it images. There we go. And so we got brick. Let's call this brick 2 because I had a couple bricks. Let's put it brick 3 just in case. Save. There we go. That's done. So then we're going to open up. Oh, don't need this. Um, we're going to open up again here. Da -da, and I am going to open up my folder here as well. We're not opening up Blender. <laughs> We're opening up GIMP. There's GIMP right there. Let's uh, let me get rid of these real quick. Um, discard changes. I don't need those. And we're going to start off new here. Um, let's get a new canvas size, and that looks good. So. And I'm going to delete this because we don't need that. There we go. And I'm going to come to my files. And I want to go to the C drive. I got GIMP. And uh, here under images. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop. Bam, there it is. Okay, so what we do from here is we need we need to get a normal in our bump map. So first we'll start with our normal. Pretty simple. We go to filters, you go under generic, and we need normal maps. Now you can change the scale, you can change everything here, but we're, we're just going to hit OK. There's, there's your normal. So you just go to file export as, um, give it a name, brick norm, and you're going to put in the same file, so that's done there, we're exporting that, so then from here, I'm going to control Z back here, and I'm also going to do a new one, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and bring my files up, drag a new one in. And this time I'm going to make sure this is filled in gray. And what I do is I go to edit, fill in with color gray. And then you want to go over to filters and go to maps and then book maps. 
click, find your double click, and there it is. And you can play with your different settings here, elevation, now let's turn the elevation down a little bit, play with your depth, give it a little bit more depth, maybe some offset maybe, yeah let's just make sure that's I got a correct picture. Okay. Now there we go. There's your norm. So, and then we go to file, export as. Now we're not going to use, I mean there's your bump map, sorry. We're not going to use the norm in this video, but we are going to use the uh, brick bump map. Export as a PNG. Export. Voila. So we're going to go ahead, uh, I, I suggest saving your work. But see, we have everything we need here. We got our regular image texture, we got our bump map, and we got our norms. Okay, so let's open up our blender now. Okay, we're going to general. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly scale this box in. Just make a quick wall that you'd, you know, like to see in a video game. Looks great, right? Let's go ahead and hit G. Let's move this light down. So what we're going to do is we're going to render it with lighting. There we go. So we're going to go to, um, click back on the uh, the wall there. We're going to go to materials. We got a new material going on. And then we're going to go to shading. So while over here in the shading, you see this crosshair? Just pull it over and you can split your screen. It's always good. So what we're going to do is we got our regular texture, we're just going to drag that in and we're going to connect that to the uh, base color. Drag down a little bit and drag in your bump map. And then what you want to do is you go to add, go to your search, bump. Voila. You want to connect the color to the height and collect norm to norm and voila now you could rotate this if you like no well, first you got to go to layout here's your map well our bump map isn't the greatest. We need to go back and tweak it a little bit. But just for a beginner tutorial, this is how you would do it. So what I want to do to get rid of, I want to go to UV editing. And I want to go to select all of this here. Make sure it's all selected. And I want to go to UV unwrap. Now, what you want to do is let's just scale this down here. Let's just move it over here. Go to layout, and there we are. Nice little texture there. Go back to shading. Um, let's turn down the strength a little bit. Back to layout, still not good. There we go, nice little texture. We could make it a little bit better. Yeah, it's coming along. And you can just play with the settings. You know, go to your UV if you want to make it bigger. You just scale it out. You know, 
And there you go. Well, let's go back to the UV there. I think I want to get away from that side. See, so just play around with it. Get it on where you want. That's good enough. You get the idea. This is just a quick tutorial. I'm getting a good bump map. And then, since you already got, you can mess around with this, scale it out, do a little rotation, bring it down. Let's add a plane. Scale the plane out, bottom to top. And we could actually add one. Mm. Here, let's just do it this way. Let's just do it the good old fashioned way. No. And it's texture. I'm just going to put something, something else. Just a nice little image too. So you get the point here. So there we go. You got a nice little wall. We got a ground going on. You could also ask, add a bump map to, if we go to shaders now, it should work now, if we go to shaders, as you can see, now you can add, we're just going to bring this bump map in. Okay, color to height. Norm to norm. Let's turn down the strength a little bit. Actually, we'll keep the strength up. I got a layout. Look at that. Okay, and if you want to render this image and yeah, just make it all pretty, let's uh, let's bring in another light here. Do a little extra here. Uh, let's just bring in the sun and let's change the color to green. Look. And then we'll. A light, change that color to an orange. Got that little bit beneath. Just a little bit. I'm gonna duplicate this actually. Um, Alright, and then. We're going to go into our view and make sure we got camera to view selected. As you can see here under views. Camera selected. Let's go ahead and this down. Just get your camera where you want it. And um, I am actually going to bring in another light, and I'm going to make this uh, blue. Mine, green, yellow. Looks good here. Ooh. I like that. I'm actually going to change this color too. So 
So you go to render images and you hit render and there it is. There's your image right there. Your three block it's magnificent isn't it i actually do like the lighting um you can change any color you can change anything you can make a boring model look so real with just a little bit of lighting a little bit of map you practice your uv practice your lighting render out some good things just practice on regular blocks take a block and change out the colors see what you can come up with you know it's your world get creative this is the homie o signing out